and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about fashion through the generations and what I think I would wear for each different decade. I did a whole bunch of research and I got all my outfits for 1900 through 1990s and these are the outfits that I think that I would wear in each generation. During the early 1900s, women's fashion was neat, covering, and detailed with ruffles, buttons, and lace and layers. The fashion was a lot more conservative back then, showcasing higher necklines and long sleeves. And women also wore gloves and carried around beautiful lace umbrellas as well. During the generation of 1910, women still wore long dresses, but now the length could vary from floor length to just above the ankle and were often layered with tunics or trench coats. Umbrellas were still very much the rage, as well as big hats and short hair, which is why I have mine tucked in. And this outfit was probably one of my personal favorites. During the 1920s, the dress silhouette changed drastically. The dresses were now quite a bit shorter and very low-waisted in their silhouette. Bobbed hairstyles, which I still don't have, um, and the hats were still very popular, except the hats were not nearly as big and were in many different styles like the bowling hat or the sun hat. The trends in the 1930s were some of my favorite. Women often wore dresses at home or in public that were a mid-calf length with modest necklines and a higher waistline. Gloves were still often worn for going out, and I'm also very lucky to have this beautiful clutch to include in the outfit that I got from my grandma that was around during the same time. For my 1940s outfit, I'm wearing a collared, belted dress. The fashion trends during this time were very influenced by the war that was going on, and the functionality and comfort of the outfit was definitely of more importance. Padded shoulders were also big during that time, and gloves were still quite a trend during that time as well. For my 1950s outfit, I'm wearing this beautiful gold party dress with a very full skirt. After the more masculine trends of the previous decades, the new style embraced a lot more femininity with the rounded shoulders, shapely bust lines, defined waistlines, and billowing skirts that hung just below the calves. Pearls and gloves as accessories were also very on trend. The 1960s is another one of my favorites. It was a decade that broke many fashion traditions and rules, mirroring many social movements during this time period. I wore one of the more popular silhouettes, which was the shift dress, and I wore it in a pale pink, which was very big during the time, and paired it with some big sunglasses and sandals. Women like Jackie Kennedy and Twiggy were a huge influence on fashion during this time. The 1970s had so many fashion trends for me to pick from, and I love so many of them, but I went with the more boho look with this beautiful long prairie dress in a soft floral pattern. Things like high-waisted jeans and bell-bottoms and tie-dye were also very popular during this time, as well as platform shoes, which I found these at the local thrift shop that were just so 70s. For my 80s look, I decided to go with a more casual one. I had just been watching Stranger Things and was super inspired by all the fashion in that show. And with Levi's being so popular during the time, I put on my favorite pair of jeans with white sneakers and this pastel sweater and did my hair up in this little side ponytail. The 90s had so many great trends to choose from, but I picked a few of my favorites which were the little cardigans, velvet, butterflies, and of course the low-waisted bell-bottom jeans. And I truly wish I had a pink fluffy butterfly shirt for this, but I will be doing a 90s haul soon, so stay tuned for that. But this is my last look for the generations. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know which ones were your favorite and leave any other comments down below if you know about the history of fashion, if I had any inaccuracies or which things I got right. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.